Hello guys, welcome back to the Maths and Physics vlog. Today we're going to go over this question, same compute. The bilinear form of the matrix A so of x and x, x and y, y and x, and y and y. For A being the identity matrix of 2 by 2 identity matrix, x being the vector 2, 3, 2, and y being the vector minus 1, 5. So pause, have a go at these, and we're going to go through them. So, I'm going to start off with i, which is our x, x of the vector A, the, of the matrix A. So we know that we need to rotate, we need to transpose this, uh, the first vector. So we're going to have 3, 2, then we're going to have the matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1. And then we're going to have the second vector, for this case it's just the same as the first. And then what we do, if you want to break it into two, substitu uh, two multiplications, you do this one times this one, and then you times it by this first one. So we have 3, 2, and then we can do it along the corridor and down the stairs, so we're going to have... 1 times 3 plus 0 times 2, which will just give us 3, and then we're going to have 0 times 3 times 1 times 2, which will give us 2. Which will then give us, a, we can do a multiplication again, so along the corridor and down the stairs, so 3 times 3, which gives us 9, plus 2 times 2, which gives us 4. That gives us an answer of 13. For the second one, we're going to have x and y, given that a, so we're going to have the exact same start, then we're going to have our matrix, but this time, we're going to have the y vector instead of the x vector. So we're going to have minus 1 and 5. So then we're going to have our 3, 2. And it's because it's the identity matrix, it's just, it doesn't really have an effect on anything. And that's what the identity matrix is there for. So then we're going to have 3 times minus 1, so minus 3, plus 2 times 5, so 10, which gives us minus, uh, which gives us 7. And they made a mistake then, my bad. Now we're going to, have to do the same for the third one. So this is different from the last one, as we have y before the, and then x. So now we're going to have a whole different setup of minus 1 and 5. Then we're going to have the matrix. And then we're going to have our x vector, 3, 2. And like we've seen in all the rest, um, the identity matrix doesn't actually have an effect on the, uh, calculate, on the multiplication of the vector. So we can just write this which then gives us minus 1 times 3, and then 5 times 2, which gives us 10. So if you see, this gives us 7 again. Although these have the same numbers, this is only due to the fact that the identity matrix exists. That doesn't have an effect on it, but if it's a different vector uh, matrix, then the vectors would change throughout the equation. And then finally, we're going to go through the last one, which is going to have y the, both the y vectors with the matrix. So we're going to have minus 1, 5, identity matrix, and then minus 1 and 5 again. So then this gives us minus 1, 5 times minus 1, 5, which then gives us 2 plus 25. Oh, I can't do multiplication. So minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. So 1 times 25, which gives us 26. So these are our four answers that we get. Uh, I hope you got them too when you went through it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, actually, we're going to move on to another example here and, and then afterwards we'll finish the video. Um, so let's go on to the next example. So this is our second thing. We've got the same setup here and we've got a different matrix. We've got a 1, 2, 3, 4 matrix and then our vectors x and y are the exact same as last time. So we're going to start again with our just our x's. So you'll actually see in this example what the matrix does to the whole equation. So this equals our transposed uh, matrix here. So we get 3 2 times our matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, and then times our 3, 2. So this will be a bit more obvious how the effect of the matrix happens. So we're going to have 1 times 3, so we're going to have 3 plus 2 times 4, uh, 2 times 2, which gives us 4, so we're going to have 7 up here. And then you have 3 times 3, which is 9, and then 4 times 2, which is 8, to give us 15 down here. And then uh, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 times 15, which gives us 30, so we get 51 here. My bad, I just realised a mistake. This should actually be 17 here. So then we get 2 times 17 to give us 34, which gives us a final answer of 55. My bad. Alright, let's move on to this next one, where we're going to have the vector x and the vector y, all with a. So we're going to have the exact same setup, 3, 2. And then we're going to have a different ending here, so we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 times the vector y, which is minus 1 and 5. So that gives us the vector 3, 2 times the vector 
1 times minus 1 is minus 1, 2 times 5 is 10, so that gives us 9. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, 4 times 5 is 20, so we're going to have minus 3, we're going to have 17. And then we're going to have 9 times 3, which gives you 27, and 2 times 17, which gives you 34. So that gives you 34, that gives you 61 in total. Right, let's have a go at the third one, which is just the vectors y and x, but the other way around. So we're going to have a different beginning, and we're going to have the similar end to this, so we already know our numbers, which is lucky. So we're going to have minus 1 and 5, our matrix, and then our vector x. So luckily we've already done this, so we can just sub this back in, but we have a different start. So we have minus 1 times 5, times 7, and 17, so we've got it right that time. So we're going to have minus 1 times 7, which gives you minus 7, and then 5 times 17, which gives you... 85 yep and then that gives you 78 in total and then finally we're just going to have both y vectors with a minus 1 of 5 our matrix and then minus 1 of 5 again and like we did up here we already had no our numbers so we can have minus 1 of 5 times 9 and 17 so we get minus 9 plus 85 to give us a final result of 76. So these are all the results. As you can see, because we had the same two vectors but changed the matrix, they had a much bigger result than we had on our last results here. So they're much different numbers. So the matrix does make a big difference on the bilinear form of the matrix. I hope this video makes sense. I hope you understood it all. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment any videos you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.